Living healthy is about so much more than eating vegetables and exercising. It is also about what you allow into your brain and into your heart. Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart above all else because everything you do flows from it. So most people these days understand the importance of healthy living. We know that you are what you eat, that you should be careful uh, about the food you allow into your body. It has a big effect on your life. But Proverbs 4 says this is not only true of physical food, but also of the emotional and spiritual food that you choose to consume. If you're like most people, maybe your typical day goes like this. You wake up in the morning and within seconds you are on your smartphone. Maybe you start with the news and you read a lot of the bad news and the things that are happening all over the world and you struggle to be affected by it. You're maybe suffering from compassion fatigue because there's just so much bad news everywhere. And then you feel guilty because you don't have compassion. The next up, maybe you go to a social media app and you see what your friends have been doing and you're envious of the amazing lives they seem to be living. And next up, you go to the internet and you read articles that were written to manufacture outrage, to get you upset and angry about things. And at the end of the day, as you get back into bed, you've spent 16 plus hours staring at screens, feeding yourself negative emotions, emotions of anger, of guilt, and of envy. Don't you think we need better voices? Don't you think we need better habits and planning so that we can be more careful what we allow inside of ourselves? Proverbs 4 says, guard your heart. Don't allow anything that wants access inside to just come in. Two simple tips that can maybe help you to focus more on the positive side of things. The first has to do with thankfulness. If there's someone in your life that you can send a list of five things every day that you are thankful for, say to your friend, hey, I will send this to you and this will help me to focus on the positives in my life instead of all the bad news and all the envy that's available on social media. And secondly, I encourage you to read positive literature such as the Bible. Read the stories of Jesus and how Jesus brings life and joy into the lives of everyone that he encounters. Proverbs 4 says, guard your heart. Do not allow anything inside that wants to get inside because this has a huge influence on your life.